I installed a new engine on the 24 volt 65 amp marine grade alternator as a backup to the solar system and it's got a two to one ratio three and a half inch pulley on the drive and the driven is two and a half so when the motor or the engine rather is running at 1500 rpm the alternator is at 3000 rpm and I tested this using a handheld rpm meter and we're doing light load tests right now the batteries aren't very low so it's only putting out 15 amps at 24 volts I wanted to break the motor in I'll probably run it at a higher rpm to make sure I've got good lubrication to the camshaft as it's breaking in So, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but the diesel generator has a 24 volt starter system. I added a little solar panel and a charge controller to keep the batteries up. That's a little 10 watt solar panel. Hang on a second, I'll show you the front of it. little monocrystalline 10 watt 24 volt panel for $29.95 shipped from eBay and even though the diesel generator has its own charge circuit this thing would sit here all summer long without running the diesel don't need it in the summertime so I wanted to make sure that the batteries stayed up so the little Renogy charge controller hanging on the wall actually has a timed equalization cycle because there's two 12 volt batteries in series. Now I don't have to think about it at all to put a trickle charger on it all summer, nothing like that. This little solar panel just handles that for me so I don't even have to think about it. At any rate, we wanted two tracks of being able to bulk our batteries in the winter time when the months of rain and snow come. So now we'll be able to do that with diesel. The diesel generator is able to charge the battery bank through our inverter charger. It'll put 70 amps on the batteries while it's passing 30 amps AC straight to the house. We wanted to be able to use a smaller generator and not run the diesel if we didn't need to. So we've got the six and a half horsepower gas engine down there running an alternator that way we'll be able to bulk the batteries i saw a video where a guy says that he bought one of these it runs great paid 99 dollars for it it's a honda clone if the craftsmanship is good it's certainly a good design and what he does is he just puts the amount of gas in the engine that he thinks he needs to bulk his batteries so he'll put anywhere from a quart to a gallon and start it and then either leave for town or go to bed and it'll just run out of gas and he'll calculate the amount of energy he wants to put into the batteries. And that's really a great idea. Uh, 20 some, 30 years ago actually, I was living off grid and that's exactly what I did doing the same thing. I would put the amount of fuel in the generator and start it and then I'd just go to bed. Sometime around 10 o'clock at night I'd hear it sputter and quit and uh, knew the batteries had the energy we needed. So I thought we'd try it again. It seemed like a really good idea. That's the fan that ventilates the Jenny Shack. It's a diesel tank there. And I'm going to insulate the roof because the sun bears down on this metal roof and heats the generator shut up. And if I did need to use the Jenny in the summertime, I'd want it to be as cool in there as possible. 
Anyway, I hope this helps somebody. Have a very blessed day.